I was born in Savannah. Uh, we moved when I was eight years old to Ackworth. My father bought a business, a Standard Oil Service Station, and named it W.N. Boone and Sons, including me, and I was only nine years old. <laughs> so I had an older brother, Buddy. That was my older brother. He was, uh, at the time we came to Ackworth, he was in the Navy. Uh, and uh, when he got out of the Navy, he joined Ed at the business and also got a job at Lockheed. It was, it was, Lockheed was beginning to build up then. We were living on a hill that overlooked Nation's Bottom, which is the, uh, was a cotton, big, big cotton field uh, before the lake covered it up. It was a great place to grow up because it was safe, uh, but yet at the same time, people in town were watching you. So, uh, you know, if you stepped out of line, daddy would know about it before you got home. By the time the lake was there, I was older, so I was expected to work at the store, but that was off and on, and I could generally leave when I wanted to and come back when I wanted to. So yeah, there was a lot, uh, had a little boat, and uh, a lot of fishing on the lake with Jimmy, Jimmy Clark and some other guys. And so it was, yeah, it was fun. Played basketball, baseball. We had a tennis team for a couple of years. I played tennis, ran track. So it was just one after the other. When I first went to school, we were going to school in a World War, I mean, a Civil War era building that had been used as a hospital. I don't know if it was a Confederate hospital or a Union hospital, but one or the other. And our uh, lunchroom was outside, was away from that building in a, in a field kitchen from World War II. And that's another thing that was great, I think, about Ackworth because the mill wasn't separate from the town community. And friends lived in the mill village, but that, there was no stigma that I experienced, mm -hmm. you know, of them being less than us kind of thing. That's good. They were our buddies and the families were friends and, mm -hmm. you know, went to the same churches and mm -hmm. all that. So that was, it was all a community. And when something big happened at the mill, like the annual barbecue, mm -hmm. uh, it, was, it was a city celebration. I was uh, accepted at the University of the South at Swanee, Tennessee, at Swanee. And uh, thinking I was gonna be able to go up there and play football and get a little financial assistance because they didn't have scholarships. Mm -hmm. And in July, I got a letter that said that uh, I wasn't gonna get any money, but they still wanted me to come. So I wasn't able to go. My cousin Lorraine was the registrar at Armstrong Junior College in Savannah. And so I called up Lorraine and said, I got a problem and explained it to her. And she said, Harry, you're accepted to Armstrong Junior College. Now you come on down here and fill out the application. So I went to Armstrong for, in 1958 for a year. And then I transferred to Georgia Tech. I also was a walk-on for the football team. I uh, had gotten to know the trainer a little bit and uh, in a conversation one day, he explained to me I wasn't ever going to get a scholarship. And, uh, and I told him I was going to then have to go work somewhere. And he asked me to come work for him. So I was a trainer for the football team for three years. And, uh, I traveled with them, went everywhere they went. Basically got the same as a, as a starting player. And it, after about the first quarter, uh, I was, it was about a 90% scholarship that I wound up with, so that worked out really well. I had a friend in Ackworth, uh, Perry, and he worked at Lockheed and was a customer at the store. We talked and he said, well, go fill out an application and uh, I'll talk to my boss and let's see if we just can't get you in our department, which was an industrial engineering department, or manufacturing engineering, I think, one of those. Uh, and so I got a job. I was in the uh, uh, manufacturing systems department, and we maintained a big manual 
that explained how the manufacturing operation worked. Well, I went went to uh, work with a friend who was had started a building business, house building business, and uh, that kind of got me started in that. And six or nine months after we started together, I broke out on my own and for several years built houses around Marietta. And and then after that, uh, I got involved in the development business and spent. 30 years developing subdivisions, but it was it was just a great place to grow up. I mean, fishing and hunting and uh, kind of being on your own. Uh, so, with lots of friends. I just think what's going on is is wonderful because, well, I'm a, I'm a developer, but uh, I, I, you don't develop for development's sake. But Ackworth could just be, uh, uh, could just have gone away without what the community has done to keep it alive and functional and relevant. So uh, I think that's just wonderful. Yeah.